is Fragrant Gaming, and today I'm going to be playing some Counter Strike Source. Alright, hello everyone, my name is Fragrat Gaming and welcome back to Throwback Thursday. Now today I'm going to be playing Counter Strike Soros. This game was loved by a lot of people and it was actually the third iteration of Counter Strike. It was Counter Strike, Condition Zero, Soros, and as many people play nowadays, Global Offense. And there were spinoffs like Zombies, Neo, and that stuff. They're, they think that one's free to play. It's like a Zombies stuff, but anyways. So... Nowadays on this game, you mainly find modded lobbies like, well, I mean, you can just tell by the list right now. There was not a matchmaking system. There's no casual competitive or any of that stuff. So I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to play a legit game on this. But anyways, let's try to get into a match. Okay, so I tried to join just a default office server, but I'm starting to question whether it is because I've downloaded a couple pedo bear models and VG underscore lol, lol guy so I don't even know what this is going to be <sighs> I finally found out how to mute everyone in this it took long enough the global offense kept a lot of the same maps that Source had and I like some of the maps better in Source I mean they look a lot better than offense so it could be wrong some different spots that you can go in on counter strike Source you can't go in on offense which I think is nice to have and huh. Oh boy, AK. Did I even land a shot on him? Not that, I'm not that good at Counter-Strike Source. I'm alright at offense, but it's just, I don't know why, but the games just feel different. It, it just could be because of the guns, or that I'm not that good in general, so I'm doing terrible, but I don't know, it just seems a little bit different. Do I pick up guns? <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to call this a Scout Elite, and I'm just going to be using that. Since the figures the Magnum's taken. I don't know if it's just the server where you can only have s a certain amount of people with a Magnum, but. Oh, come on. Okay, so I'm just going to be changing servers because. Oh boy, it's one of these. So this server is more of a TDM where after you die, you don't have to wait until the round finishes for you to respawn. You kind of just keep respawning and whatever team gets the most kills. Kind of cool, but whichever team gets the most kills wins the game. EDM is more of just like a clusterfuck of everyone just going together just try to randomly kill people. There's no logic behind it. You're just running around just spraying your guns as fast as you can. Which is sometimes fun. Sometimes it's just gets repetitive and a little bit annoying. Right now it's fun. And this game actually plays a little bit differently than offense. As you notice when I'm walking around with a crosshair, it does not blur at all. It stays the same. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's always going to be an accurate one shot one kill if you're moving. You have to still stop. You just have to predict when that crosshair is actually going to land on the guy. In some ways I actually like this crosshair style a little bit better since it takes a little more skill since you cannot rely on the image just blurring and unblurring for you to know when to shoot. Overall, I can't really say much about this game. It's basically the same as Counter-Strike Global Offense, except with worse graphics and a little bit different crosshairs. In the end, if I, I think if I had to choose between this and Offense, I would definitely choose Offense, just for one server finding. It is so hard to find an actual server on this, and I haven't been able to... I don't even think if I... I don't even think I've ever been able to find a dedicated server on this. If you want to play com competitive or casual, you can just click on one of those two options. So select your map and that's it. Anyways, I hope you all enjoy the video. Goodbye.